Look at this pancake mix. Focus. There you go. Thick man. Okay. Don't know if I can do a flick to be fair. Right, what we've got here, just thought I'd talk into the cam, is simple Biscoff spread slash biscuit spread from, I think it was Lidl or Aldi. We're broke, mate, that's how we do it. Banana, honey, and I haven't got many other toppings to be fair, I usually put protein bars on, but I've got fuck all in, mate. I only just realised it was pancake day today and I thought, make a vid and I'll also just use what I've got in. So I think they look pretty sick, but yeah. Right, everyone, pancake day. So, as you can see, I've officially gone clear and, you know, there's literally no denying I'm the best at making pancakes. So, yeah, what we've got is simple, I've already said, banana, Biscoff, bit of honey, bit of pancakes, pretty much what I had in the cupboard because I'm not off fucking shopping for pancake day. Which actually brings me on to the topic of this video. Well, one of the things I wanted to talk about. So nice, man. And the way I use protein, it was um, Speculus My Protein. So Speculus is actually the generic name for Biscoff. So it's Biscoff on Biscoff. A lot of food getting a lot freaky in here. Do you know what I mean? Right. So just thought I'd do a little vid. Getting uh, some videos of pancakes. Sorry for the lack of, you know, mixing flower footage and me recording myself from mad angles. I actually promised myself I'm never going to do that. After the amount of videos I've seen on TikTok of people, setting up the fucking camera from like 50 metres away and what, what like, and, and getting videos and like walking to shops and like ordering food, or, like just recording themselves doing shit. Like, mate, it's such an inconvenience and nobody wants to see me open my cupboard and cut to a new angle, me place the flower down, like, no, no, I, I personally wouldn't want to see it, I personally don't give a fuck, so I don't think you should, um, just nurturing you all, anyway, so I'm going to eat these pancakes, and first of all, I want to just talk about all these fucking dates, right, such as pancake there, you know, starting off being um, as contradictory as possible, I've been getting real pissed off recently, because I've been seeing shit like, Mother's Day, and then Valentine's Day, and then next it's Father's Day, and then it's Easter, and then it's fuck knows what. Right. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but these days are literally designed, right, if you just look at it, and use your head for a second, and this, this isn't like some mad, mad conspiracy, this isn't outside the box, right, they're literally designed for you to go out and spend money to keep you broke, mate. Right, I'm not trying, I'm not on no Andrew Tate shit here. But it actually pisses me off, right? I see like Mother's Day, like, mate, appreciate your mother every day. You don't need a fucking Mother's Day and then Valentine's Day. Oh, it's the stupidest one. What, what, who made that? Who, who made Valentine's Day, bruv? The next thing, it just all ties in, like, like gender reveals, yeah? Gender reveals. Who the fuck made that up? And now it's a thing where everyone does it because they think it's tradition. Where I'm pretty sure our gender reveal was made up about two years ago by some kind of wanted Insta attention. This is the only reason people do it for attention on Insta. Let's be honest, right? It's making me so mad. I can't fucking eat my pancakes. So yeah, I want to do a little rant. Tell them to use the red, right? Whereas all these like random fucking days, mate, you don't have to go out and celebrate. You can appreciate your mum all day, you can appreciate your dad all day. You could take them out for a meal, do you know what I mean? You'd have to wait till Mother's Day. You'd have to wait till Valentine's Day to post your fucking lass on Insta, which is what you see. Like, people hide the lasses or boyfriends all year, and then you see you see them get posted 
on that day. It's fucked. Like, it's fucked. It genuinely pisses me off. I just want to do a little rant today. Because it's really been annoying me. So, yeah, it's not. this is not one of the usual type of videos. I usually get shook. But <laughs> i tell you what. There's a sign outside my gaff rig. It's opposite a pub. And, um... It's like booking for Mother's Day. And it's in like a month and a half. And I just know it's going to be fully booked. For, for what reason? For what reason? It's fucking day. <laughs> like, you, don't, you need to book a table at a pub. Oh, I can't get into it. I, I'm done. I'm done with this topic, right? I get too mad. I don't know what the second thing was I was going to talk about. Um, fuck. I actually forgot, you know. My camera battery's gonna die, it's on one. Right, I'm gonna stop this real quick. Yo, I'm back. Four pancakes full there, I think that's how many it was. So, I had some time to think about what I'm gonna talk about next because the other day I had like two clear topics I wanted to talk about, which really annoyed me because it's a bit of a rant, right? But now I don't remember the other topic. So I'm gonna talk about another thing that's been annoying me, which is social media, right? Number one, it's just insanely addictive, like I've actually been fucking a fiend for Instagram, like every two minutes I will go on and refresh a story, it's not good, it really isn't good, it's actually destroying my attention span, genuinely is right, and I find before I could play like games and that when I was younger, maybe it's just growing up, but definitely in terms of films and that, I could watch them for way longer, and now I watch a film for two minutes, or oh, I watch a YouTube video for fucking 30 seconds, I want to the next one, I'm just on to the next one because I want to scroll, it's awful, like, I know right now I, I'm contradicting myself a lot, but anyone who can, get the fuck off social media or, no, don't get off it because it's got its uses, right, but reduce it because it absolutely does fuck up your workflow it fucks up your product productivity by a mile mate like it really does people don't even realize how bad it is like me myself it's been getting a lot worse recently before i used to just you know scroll through it a bit and that was still messing me up but now i'm at the point where i'm proper addicted and i wasn't even aware of it like the past few weeks i was just proper smashing it in and i was like yeah it's all right because i do a load of work then i realized well do you know how much sweat is stopping me from doing? It's ridiculous. So yeah, I've sort of pinpointed where I'm going wrong with social media, which has been addicted as fuck. The next part is, what I don't understand is why people post like every achievement that they, they, they make or like, I, I, just, I just don't get it. Like, or anything they do, like, a prime example is where they upload fucking confirmations of a booked holiday like me I, genuinely right if if that person can give me one reason because they tagged the mates in it as well who they booked the holiday with right so what reason could they have you know the only valuable the, the only you know viable reason i think would be to tell your mates here's here's the booking right but you could just do that by sending them a message, right? So why are you putting out a confirmation of a holiday on, tagging your pals, yeah, and uploading that? It just goes back to that same thing of people posting every win or thing that makes them look good, right? In order to just portray, like, a false image on social media, and I, I, I don't, I don't, it's so unhealthy, mate. Like, it, it's crazy unhealthy. It actually is. Like, I was doing it with my vibes and fitness Instagram. Not loads, I wouldn't say I was on the same level as a lot of people, but I was just posting like every fucking workout, every time I got a personal best mate, like... The problem is, right, they think it's obligatory, they think it's mandatory, right? As soon as they achieve something, they'll go put it on Insta, because they think they have to do that. There is no, you are getting no benefit from putting it on Instagram or Snapchat, yeah? You get absolutely zero benefit, at all. What are you doing? is fucking fishing for dopamine through the people who are replying to you saying, oh, well done, mate, or liking your story. Do you know what I mean? That's literally all it is. It's all it is. It's fucked. Like, it's just the whole system we operate on now. It's just so dopamine-based. Like, we're just 
always holding for that bit of dopamine. And the easiest way to get it is making a post on Instagram, getting that fucking like. It, it absolutely just sends your brain fly, me and you want more. And the more you get of it, the more, you know, regular it becomes. The less time it lasts, right? So now, when, we've, when I used to get fucking likes on Instagram, when I first started, mate, I used to be buzzing. Now I get likes and I'm like, I'm not saying I get loads of likes and that, but now I get a like and I'm like, so I'll, like, for, for the first second, I'm like, yeah, come on. And then I'm done. Like, and I just want more, and I want more and more, more. You yeah, just realise that not everything is about social media. You don't have to portray yourself in a certain way on there. Just give yourself a break, man. Do things for yourself, mate. Like, don't do things just to show off. I remember when before my first my first boxing match, right? I was thinking to myself quite a while, I can't wait to win this because I wanna post it on Instagram so everyone knows I'm a sick boxer. And then I said to myself about a month out, if I win or lose, it's not getting put anywhere on Instagram because it fucking doesn't matter to anybody. Nobody cares, first of all. Number two, what is it genuinely achieving? You know, the only time where I think it's genuinely now okay to post on Instagram is if you've got something cool to show someone, right? Or let's say the other day I posted a photo of uh, my living room because it looked proper sick, like it looked like proper studio and I thought that looks quite sick. I like to share that with people. Do you know what I mean? There was probably a, there was probably an aspect of me thinking, yeah I hope someone likes my story, so I feel real good. Do you know what I mean? It's always that underlying thing, but yeah. But I think it should mostly be for, let's say, pictures of yourself are alright, like, yeah, that's, I, I, I post pictures of myself, that's fine, I guess, but, like, it should be like, I see, I used to see people, like, post quotes and that, and I'd be like, why the fuck are you posting that? Like, why are you genuinely posting that? And then I realised, you know, if it's something positive, then it's a good thing. Like, if someone's posting, like, a real positive quote, and it's... You know, something that's making them change the way they look at life. There's absolutely nothing wrong with sharing it. I used to think, what weirdo, man, like, no one gives a fuck <laughs> that you relate to that quote. But at the same time, I realised how much you could help someone else. So, yeah, um, social media is something you really have to be careful with. You really do. So, I just thought I'd go on a little rant about socials, mate. Um, hope everyone enjoys this type of video because it's all I'm going to be recording for the foreseeable. I haven't got much planned for this year yet. But once I do, I'm sure I'll get some footage of it, make some creative videos and that. But for now, uh, that was it really, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed my new fucking camera. I'm never going to stop talking about it. You know what? I <laughs> set out to stop swearing. And I think I've swore about three times this video, which is sick. But yeah, cheers everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.